And I don't think I could go through what my parents went through, losing a child, you know. There's no way to keep your children absolutely safe. For those who make the choice to not have children, the impacts within family and friendships, even society itself, run deep. It's kind of awkward to say to someone you just meet, uh, yeah, I just had a hysterectomy and I haven't been able to have children. I didn't want to have a child and I wasn't going to be a single mother. I did the right thing and I've never, ever, ever second guessed. Hi, I'm Ashlyn. And I'm Coco. And we're here with the Cinnabar Middle School Teen Press, here with... Jennifer Miller. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What do you hope people take away from your film? A Womb with a View is the story about 18 women who haven't had kids, you know, whether they chose it or they didn't. And my hope is that people will take away, will walk away from the film with a new understanding about women who haven't had children, and whether they made the choice or whether they evolved to it. Why did you call your film Womb with a View? It's actually a bit of a tongue-in-cheek. I wanted to bring a little levity to a kind of heavy subject. And there's a movie that you've probably never heard of called A Room with a View that was from the 1980s. So it's kind of a tongue in cheek reference to uh, you know a room with a view uh, just wanted to bring a little little lightness to a very heavy subject as a young woman which woman in your film would you most like me to meet I would absolutely most like you to meet Katherine Kiernan mostly because she's my aunt and she has deeply impacted my life in the best way in the best uh, feminine love and just guidance and so that's who I would like you to meet thank you thank you're welcome you. thank you girls and thank you. Have a good night. Take care. I have to explain this. It should. There should be no explanation. I don't have children. <laughs> Boom. Each woman's journey is her own. Each womb has a view.